What is going on guys, Greggles TV. I'm gonna go over with you on which is the best international LTE data plan. Is it from Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, or AT&T? Now this is just for LTE unlimited or somewhat limited data plans on these networks. Now I know that some of them or all of them will offer some kind of free data and text and calls um, with some of their plans. And we'll go over a little bit about that, but basically this is just LTE high speed data plans. Okay, so let's jump right into the best LTE international data plans. Let's start off with T-Mobile. Uh, T-Mobile just announced new data plans for international data users uh, right now. So basically, if you see right here, for five gigabytes, um, you get five gigabytes of data, and that five gigabytes of data has to be used up in 10 days, and it costs $35. They then, they then have a 15 gigabyte international pass, which includes 15 gigabytes of international high-speed data, and that can be used up in 30 days, and that's for 50 bucks. And then lastly, they still have their ever so popular, as they call it, 512 megabytes of high-speed data and unlimited calling for just $5 a day now if you look at these overall i think um your mom and your dad would probably ultimately be fine with either the five gigabyte plan for 10 days or the 512 gig megabyte plan for one day and that's not a lot of data though 512 megabytes so if they do use facebook and they go on websites and they do things that have a lot of images or videos don't go with the 512 um go with that five gigabyte plan for 10 days uh, and then i mean if you're a person that uses a ton of data you definitely without a doubt want to go with the 15 gig plan and that gives you you can use that up within 30 days and that's 50 bucks that's the one i personally would go with is the 15 gig plan with t-mobile if i had this and i was going out there and i might even need to add more eventually to this but overall it's that's a so you know these are very reasonable prices for the data that they give you um just remember it is available if need be in what they say in over 210 uh, countries and locations and you can see the list right here it's a fairly extensive list so i mean you might obviously you're not going to go to every single one of these places so maybe you go to the philippines or you go to um you know just different places in here just make sure that country uh, is in this uh, location if you're going to be end up going here and this all, all these plants you know i did mention data but it also includes uh talk and text so uh, the talk in the text is unlimited so you can make calls and all that stuff with the with this t-mobile pass and also just remember if you're on the magenta plan with t-mobile which is one of their new plans um, you automatically get uh, mexico and canada data for free you get unlimited talk and text and up to five gigabytes of lte data to use in canada without having to pay an extra fee so if you're just going to one of those countries for a short time or you're not going to use them more than five gigabytes it'll be free that's included inside of your plan Next up, let's look at AT&T's and AT&T's is very similar to the way Sprint and Verizon do it, um, which is different than the way T-Mobile is doing it. So basically, um, for $10 a day, depending upon where you go, um, you'll end up getting, uh, the $10 fee gives you coverage for 24 hours. So for only gonna be like one day, it only costs you 10 bucks, which ultimately might be cheaper than what you're gonna get with um, T-Mobile and you get access to your data so need to no need to hunt for Wi-Fi while you travel you'll get um, uh, y, uh, LTE data you know get unlimited LTE data at that also you get unlimited texts to the world unlimited calls to the United States and unlimited calls to 100 plus international day pass countries so any of the countries that are located in this hundred uh, in this uh, hundred plus city hundred plus location I should say uh, here, then you'll have access to that data and you can also call within that country as well if you're using that data plan within that country. So it's a pretty good plan. I mean, ultimately could be a lot more expensive if you're gonna be in a country for 30 days. It could be basically 300 bucks um, in that, because you remember you're getting charged $10 daily if you receive a text, even if it's just one text, one call, check your voicemail, or even um, use any kind of data. Even if, even if it's a very small amount of data, you're gonna get charged $10 for that whole day. So something to keep in mind, it could be very cheap or it could be very expensive depending upon how many days you use AT&T's international data plan. Next up is Verizon. And Verizon, again, is pretty much 
the same exact way that um, AT&T does it. Uh, $10 a day in all of these countries and you get unlimited talk, text, and data to use on your plan. And again, it, it, it's this. They, it seems like they have a few more countries. They say they have 185 countries, and uh, it's, it's could be as cheap or as expensive as need be. If it's going to be less than, you know, five days, and you're going to lose unlimited data, then obviously the Verizon uh, is going to be a better plan for you better than T-Mobile's. Um, so, and then obviously Verizon has more countries than AT&T, so you can potentially have better coverage if you're gonna be some multiple places, uh, but ultimately it's just gonna cost the same as AT&T's. Verizon also offers a monthly international travel plan. Um, I don't know why you would do this, because I feel like this could, I mean, it could, could be cheaper if you're not gonna use as much data, but, um, as you can see, it's going to either be 70 bucks and you get 100 minutes of talk, 100 texts, and 0.5 gigabytes of data. Or for 130 bucks, you'll get 250 minutes of talk, 1,000 texts, or 2 gigabytes of data. Again, if you, that's all you're going to use, then yeah, and you're going to be there for longer than 13 days, maybe this is a better plan. But I would probably just go with the travel pass, which ends up being um, $5 for Mexico and Canada or $10 per month for 185 plus countries. But remember also additional benefits if um, there's no additional charge for Mexico and Canada, if you have uh, their go beyond or above unlimited plans. Also, you'll get five travel passes included each month, which is basically that $10, use as much talk, text, and data as you want if you have the above unlimited plan. So just keep that in mind if you're the Verizon, just to add to some of the confusion. And they would Sprint, they're a little bit different. They don't seem to offer um, free calling in other countries, um, but they do offer free SMS texting. That, so if you're gonna send a picture in there, that will cost you. Um, and then for their 4G LTE, uh, data roaming plans, those again are priced a little bit different than Verizon and AT&T. So these are LTE data prices for Canada and Mexico, $2 a day or $10 a week. Um, for most destinations, um, it says $5 a day or $25 a week. And for other destinations, uh, it's either $10 a day or $50 a week. So you have to figure out where you're going specifically if it's under the most destination or other destination category because that's kind of a big price difference. Um, if it's under the most destinations that's actually really really good in terms of what you'll end up getting. Um, so not bad prices at all from uh, Sprint. So after looking at all of the data plans they all offer some kind of value and maybe advantage over the other ones. So with T-Mobile, you know, if you're only going to be there and only use a certain amount of data, like because they're not offering unlimited data like uh, AT&T, Sprint and Verizon are. So if you're only going to use less than 15 gigabytes of data and you can get that for 50 bucks, that's a fantastic deal because if you know if you're going to use 30 days worth of data on the other guys, that's basically going to be up to 300 bucks. So I can see why the T-Mobile data plan will fit probably over 99% of the people that travel internationally and don't need, you know, unlimited data. So that would be a great, great price. And I can see why that would come in handy and save you money. As for, uh, you know, uh, Verizon and AT&T offering basically unlimited data, LTE speeds in other countries, but for $10 a day, I can see how it might be expensive, especially if you're not using a lot of data one day, but then another day you are using a lot of data that can come in very, very handy. So that's really, really fantastic. And then if you look at Sprint, they have lower prices at times, if it's in certain countries, $5 a day or $10 a day overall. In other countries, again, with unlimited data, they give you texting, but no calling. So there, again, there's advantages to all four of these ones and I can, hopefully this kind of cleared it up for you guys. But let me know in the comments down below which one you think and which company offers the best high-speed LTE data plans internationally. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road. Peace.